Well, it's a new day and uh, we're about two thirds done with the shop framing. I've still got the uh, small wall behind me. Uh, that was uh, that's built and I just need to stand that up and hook it all together. And then we start on the I'll start on the front part of the shop, which is the main garage door. I gotta build a uh, two by 12 uh, beam for the header for the front and then the two side walls and then connect, start connecting everything together. So uh, the goal for the rest of this week is to get uh, get all the framing done, get the shop uh, all level and square and plumb, and then uh, we'll be good to go with that. So stick around as we continue our shop framing. I'm pretty pleased with how things are going so far. And please remember, uh, if you like this sort of video, to like and subscribe and uh, share these videos with friends. That would be greatly appreciated. I uh, love the support and uh, people that are uh, participating and watching as part of the channel. I'm putting everything together and bolting it together like that right at the center because my plan is to do the rough opening layout first before I go ahead and actually do the uh, 16 inch on center layout. So that way I know exactly where I need my jacks and my king studs in order to get this uh, the garage door to be centered and to have the walls even on both sides. So a little bit of work, a lot of uh, kind of calculations on this. The original drawings called for two uh, single doors, but I opted for one central door uh, in order to, to have optimize more space. I didn't see a point in both doors. So since my plans don't cover it, I have to uh, figure this out as I go. Whether I volunteer to bring joy to those in need, practice kindness to someone I love, or give generously without expecting to be repaid, these opportunities fill me with joy and hope. There are three short stories that I think speak to the element of gratitude. Once, all villagers decided to pray for rain. 
On the day of prayer, all the people gathered, but only one boy came with an umbrella. That's faith. When you toss a one-year-old baby in the air, he laughs because he knows his father will catch him. And that's trust. Every night we go to bed, we have no assurance to wake up alive the next morning, but we still manage to set the alarm for tomorrow. And that is hope. Well, the layout for the uh, garage door is completed. I got the center line and all that figured out. I figured out where all my 16 on 16 inch on center uh, uh, boards will be for both the top plate and bottom plate. And now we're uh, off to Hunt's Timbers to go and collect our uh, two by 12s, 16 footers for the uh, shop uh, door header. So uh, come with us as we go pick up that lumber. I have a lot to be grateful for these days, and I spend a lot of my time thinking about it since I have it at the property to do so. I'm grateful for the fact that I have been in a position to be able to build and do what I'm doing. I'm grateful for my family and for my friends and for my community. And I'm certainly grateful for my health, knowing that I battled so long and hard with not only addiction but mental illness. To be able to be in a place where I feel serenity because of it is an exceptional place to be for me. So here are my tips for living a life of active gratitude. First, beware of social media. It destroys gratitude. Twitter and Instagram are filled with carefully edited lives, but those existing snapshots aren't the real world. One interesting thing about these moths is that the uh, grizzly bears eat uh, hundreds of pounds of these right now at this time during the season. That's why they're so prolific around and all over everything. But up in the mountains, the grizzly bears will go up there and uh, and feast on these and lift up rocks and eat uh, eat to get fat because they contain a great deal of protein. Interesting fact I learned. Just thought I'd pass it on. Life is messy, and our fake social media lives can make others envious. That is, and certainly invoke a lack of gratitude. This envy is a recipe for dissatisfaction, making us obsess over what we lack instead of being thankful for what we have. It's my view that unfortunately our country is experiencing a gratitude crisis. Today, many Americans feel entitled, and too often we take our blessings for granted. 
Today we are getting a small taste of how much we stand to lose when our freedom is restricted and our health threatened. We've been reminded the hard way that these are gifts, not guarantees. When we train ourselves to look at life through the lens of gratitude rather than disappointment, we find ourselves happier and more at peace. There is so much to be grateful for if we just learn to look for it. Well, the center, the main beam across the door is completed. Uh, it took a little bit of math and some serious research to figure out how to get all that to line up and uh, with the blueprints and also with uh, my uh, wood that I bought. But all in all, I got it done and I'm pretty satisfied with how, uh, how well everything lined up and shimmed up. So now we move on to uh, adding the uh, 16 inch on center walls and uh, continue to fill the finishing off this front wall. It's been a journey, that's for sure, especially doing this by hand. I, uh, I definitely uh, may, will make sure that the gun has the proper nails next time. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. I got the uh, wall completed and uh, now the last thing to do is go ahead and uh, raise it into position. Pretty satisfied with it so far, uh, but that was a lot more work than I had anticipated and uh, it really wore me out.
I am officially done with the framing. Woohoo! And I just beat the rain. We have thunderstorms coming in this afternoon and uh, it's just starting to sprinkle right now. So I got pretty lucky and managed to beat that. I'm pretty stoked. I still have to go around and level it all out, uh, up and make sure it's plumb and, and level. And then uh, I'll put on the uh, uh, second set of uh, boards, the uh, second top plate and uh, secure it all down. Uh, and then that'll that'll complete that piece. And then we start uh, start the sheeting process and filling in some gaps. But uh, pretty excited about it anyway. If you like this type of thing, please remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends. It greatly helps the channel. Uh, we appreciate all the support we're getting and uh, stay tuned for more. More to come. The thing about these Simpson Strong Ties is these things were ultra expensive. So lesson learned, and uh, we'll definitely do it with the house, is that to put in the uh, J-bolts into the foundation instead of trying to do it this way. Uh, the shop was a little bit different experience and had to go this route, but uh, this is about $280 worth of bolts. Not just this, but there's a few other sets. It was, it was quite expensive and something I won't repeat.